Now the kickoff from Porto. Now you've got your chance to check on the lineup for the home team. So, Alan, 4-4-2? Yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape. It's the one that the manager prefers. And here is the team news for Porto. Alan, he's going to defend with six, isn't he? He's going to have those two holding midfield players and let the, the other four go and attack when they can. Yeah, I mean, the two lads in the middle, the two midfielders, are naturally defensive-minded players, Martin, so I don't think they'll naturally get forward too willingly. So, yeah, it looks a fairly cautious lineup when you look at it. This game really is a chance for him to express himself. What I like about him is his acceleration as much as just that outright pace. He, he can really leave somebody flat-footed when he's got a mind to it. Pereira. Oliver Torres. On to the attack now. Well, that's always the goalkeeper's ball and a simple catch as much as anything is simple in this game. Another turnover in play here with that interception. Porto pushing on here, getting men forward to take the lead. What a fine save. And Porto awarded the corner. And here's the header. Java. Ricardo Orta. Looking to play his teammate through. And here's the cross. Soars. He's coming forward with some danger. Played into the middle. They cope with it well defensively. Well, they're good at corners. Let's see what this one brings. The goalkeeper comes out with a punch. They've linked up well. And it's a headed effort at goal. And they've cut it out. Oliver Torres. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Corner for Porto. Now they're going to get their injured player back. That's very good news. He's ready to come on. Yeah, he's furiously waving at the ref, trying to get attract his attention. Oliver Torres. Into the attacking third. Some good work by the medical team here to get this fella back onto the pitch. Yeah, I think he had the old magic sponge. And uh, he's OK now. Cut out the pass. There's some potential in this move. Gone for the through pass. Defending strongly there and making sure that Cross didn't get into the danger area. Have a look at that, the corner count. Soars. It's a quick break. Gonna try his luck. Well, it's a goal that's been on the cards. The better team at this stage of the match. And you wonder whether they would make that domination count. Well, they've done with this goal. Thoroughly deserved. They lead. Speed. Control as well at that pace. It takes a bit of doing, but they got it absolutely right.
Well, they enjoyed that, and they've uh, caught the opposition unaware who had committed too many men forward. Goal so the first the goal, it's 1-0. Number 30, Oliver Torres. Porto fans really getting behind the team, but it's a team that needs a bit of help from the supporters at the moment, but they have got the lead. They've got to not long to go to half-time, and that might be an opportunity to Porto and their coaching staff. Really just... That's a straightforward piece of work for the goalkeeper. Soars. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Java. And the board shows three added minutes. Good forward play from them. Very well done with the in well the referee is signaled for half time and it's one nil here. Well Porto pushing on here, getting men <laughs> referee blows and we're off for the second half. On the attack here. Very to bring them level. He's got to it and he's claimed the ball too. Alex Teles. Here the challenge is a good one. And in goes the cross. He worked hard to get the cross in, but it didn't reach any of his teammates arriving in the middle strong fair challenge pulls out for a throw though they're gonna have to take him off there's no question about it he's injured probing away trying to find room for a shot maybe there goes the cross throw for Porter Pereira. It's time for the substitutes, I think, and the substitution for the home team here. Soars. Could be dangerous. Very good passing from this team. Well, it is a free kick. And uh, they're excited by this. It's a real chance to at least work the goalkeeper. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. And on the home bench, a substitute is clearly getting ready to come on. Strong challenge. Attacking now. It goes out wide again. He could do a better cross than that, I think. And it was easy to cope with. Shot go! And a corner given by the referee. Most uh, defenders will have been told by the coach, stop the cross, that's what he's done. Orta. 
This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Rahimi. Porto pushing on here, getting men forward. In quickly. If you want an indication, these possession statistics tell you about how even this match is, Alan. Well, I thought coming into this game it was going to be a, a quite a close affair. And here's the shot. Could be offside, and he's flagged offside. Java. Porto's throw. There's good progress with this attack. That's a good spot by the defender. Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. Well, it's a poor cross, not well hit at all. Dealt with by the defending side. Oh, I love to see that, the referee playing the advantage. Referee's done uh, extremely well to judge it like that. He can play the advantage. Well, Porto fans will be very pleased with this because there have been no anxieties for the team. They have been the top dog in this match, and it's just been a case of the margin of victory, really. Still a few minutes left. Promising build-up until that challenge. Really strong tackle, and the ball's gone out for a throw. Ref's gone back to deal with that earlier incident, yellow card. He's one of my favourite refs, he doesn't miss much, this lad. One eye on the clock, and uh, the other on the match, because uh, there's just that one goal in it, but it's a goal to the good, five minutes left. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. It is coming to the business end of this match, isn't it? And they're still looking for that elusive goal. Yeah, the crowd trying to G up their players, trying to get behind them, trying to produce... Got to be! He could have been the hero here. That was a genuine chance to put this game to bed. I think the situation got the better of him there, and he, he just snatched at it, lost his composure. Three minutes from the referee by the fourth official, that's the decision regarding added time. Not too many more attacks, I don't think. Very late in the game. Here, the challenge is a good one. Final whistle's gone, and it's a 1-0 win. Close game. Well, you have to get the goals to win, but... You also need defenders to stop the opposition. These defenders have done a fantastic job today. Yeah, and I think the 